Hey, I'm Jules. I'm Ben. We're Good Luck. And you're watching Joburg Today. If you call yourself a Joe Burger, then when was the last time you were in Troyville? Troyville Hotel was established in 1939. It's been around for many, many years. It then was known as a prestigious hotel. If you recall, 1939 was still during the Second World War. And the speculators looking for gold up on the reef actually used to patronize this establishment. So it's got a rich history. Um, it's uh, positioned uh, on Albertina Salute Drive, which coincidentally links Ohar Tambo to the city center. Um, and uh, it, it's a hotel that's been used by many, many folks. In fact, we have uh, people of three generations actually still patronizing the hotel. You'll hear anecdotes about uh, grandparents, uh, parents, and now their children actually visiting. And, uh, and they count, they, they count, uh, they, they still count the stories of you know of the good times that they've had yet it's a beautiful location in fact if you reference it on google maps there's very few suburbs in the world where they can boast being so close to an iconic rugby stadium we won when we won the world cup the rugby world cup you know back then in uh, 95. in the way we've developed the precinct or refurbished it is we've given it attention to different areas to suit different pockets now in suiting different pockets you pretty much almost leverage uh, an ability to reach people of all types, all social standings, uh, across racial divides. So if, if somebody's got 20 bucks in their pocket, we've got a facility for them where they can have a great time and they can feel part of this. If they've got five, five grand in their pocket and they want to come up to this rooftop and enjoy a bottle of champagne or two and watch the sun go down, um, we also cater for them too. So I think there's an element of destination, but an element of convenience as well. So, so the elements that are appeal to people from a convenience perspective is uh, our, our food, street food offering on the one side and our public bar on the other side. We then have a restaurant which uh, a lot of businessmen frequent during the week and have meetings, uh, lunch meetings. And then we obviously get families coming on the weekend. And, and we really, really transcend the racial divide.